Marco, the clown master. He might be one of the most annoying champions ever and players love playing him to annoy the enemy team and carry games. But why is he able to carry so well? Let's find this out by first going through his carry potential in each elo. In low elo, Shaco is the strongest he can be if the player has at least a decent understanding of his kit and abilities. He thrives off players not knowing how to play against him. Also in low elo, there's a high chance that players will be trading in lane, ending up with low HP and this is where Shaco shines. His abilities allow him to pop out of nowhere, do big damage or have huge one shot potential when he's ahead. He thrives in this elo unless he is counter jungled, which in low elo does not happen often. Mid elo Shaco is pretty much the same situation as low elo Shaco on why he's able to carry. However, in the high elos, there are different reasons as to why he carries. High elo Shaco is usually picked if they're a Shaco main or if the enemy jungle pick is a good matchup for him. On top of this, even though players will know how to play against Shaco in this elo, he will still be able to carry games because of his stealth, wall hop, and damage. In addition, Shaco junglers in this elo are highly aware of counter jungling and what they should be doing in terms of jungle presence. So he has good carry potential, making him strong across all elos due to these things. Now onto item spikes, the priority items have on allowing champions to carry should never be underestimated. Shackle can go AP and AD which is always good and just adds to why he can carry. However, he does have to play around his boxes more when he goes AP damage. Shaco's items are all about doing the most damage in the shortest amount of time, aka burst damage. His ability to do this with added benefits of items is what makes him so strong. Shaco has a lot of item options, but the most consistently used AP items are Leandri's Anguish and Blackfire Torch. For AD Shaco, you have Profane Hydra, Cyclo Sword, and then Collector or Infinity Edge. These items give him high burst damage, meaning he will be looking for low HP target squishies or low mobility squishies, making this one of the reasons why he's able to carry. Abilities and ganking potential. Abilities also play a role to the champion's potential to carry, and this section will explain why his abilities allow him to carry so well. Shaco's Q grants him a short teleport and invisibility. With this ability, he's able to gank lane super well as he can wall hop pretty much anywhere on the map. Then he will become invisible for two or more seconds, meaning the enemy will have no idea the kank is incoming. Also, this ability can be used to get out of situations too. So it's a very strong ability and probably his strongest ability. Shaco also has two options at level one, either set up boxes, making his first clear very quick and taking close to no damage, allowing him to get into a level two gank very quickly. Or he can take Q level 1, invade the enemy jungle and cause problems. But this requires knowing where the enemy jungler is starting and if they're soloing their camp. When fighting Shaco with his W, which are his boxes, they can be anywhere. And without a sweeper lens, it makes landing on them even more likely. Especially if you're chasing Shaco and following his pathing, where he will be likely to lead you onto a box. His E is a targeted skill shot meaning guaranteed damage, you also have his passive allowing him to deal extra damage when behind you and finally you have his ult which clones him and can be used while invisible too, making it much harder to kill him and even if you do kill him or the clone he will spawn boxes doing instant damage and crowd control to anyone in range. So for team fighting and solo fights, Shaco will dominate solo fights and look for picks thanks to these abilities. As Q will get him into position to deal high damage or to get out of a situation where his other abilities will add to his extra damage and his ult makes it hard to kill him. Which means he is very capable of carrying games runes now onto runes and for some champions runes play a major reason as to why they're so strong in game and shako is one of them as mentioned earlier shako can go ap or ad and he has the perfect runes for both being dark harvest for ap and hells of blade for ad these runes work extremely well on shako hells of blade gives faster autos for faster burst damage and dark harvest gives high extra damage on low hp enemies the further into the game so it's without a question that this adds to his ability to carry 
Finally, on to matchups, which also plays a part in Shaco's carry potential, as he doesn't really have any counters, which means you can first pick him. Although, if he doesn't get a gold lead against tank jungles, he doesn't do too well in the mid to late game. For the full list, you can always check op.gg and you will see the full counters in the counters section. With this being said, Shaco's carry potential versus these tank junglers depends on how well he plays his early game and whether he can get ahead. With everything said in this video, it is no debate that all these factors combined is what gives Shaco his potential to carry consistently in all elos.